Mark 13, yep. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, <laughs> see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? Yep. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? Yep. There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. <laughs> and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, mm -hmm. Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, <laughs> Tell us, when shall these things be? <laughs> and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus, answering them, began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. Yes. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. Ouch. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. <laughs> For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Mm -hmm. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. Mm -hmm. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Mm -hmm. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils. <laughs> and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, mm -hmm. and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, <laughs> for a testimony against them. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the way that I'm, I'm interpreting this, yes, is that um, famines and troubles, yeah, it's not going to be, um, well, if I have anything to say, yes. We're not going to have any famines, no. We're not going to have any droughts, no. We're not going to have uh, a diminishing of the available fuel supply, yes. And we're not going to use the the nation for garbage. No. Now, for every time that we put garbage in the earth, it could be converted to electricity incinerators. Yeah. Or it could be used to manufacture various building products. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that the end is not beginning. Yes. I don't like the beginning of these sorrows. In fact... During my time here on earth, I don't want there to be any more sorrows. Now, after I die, approximately 70 years from now, because I plan on having a family, yes. And I, I want to work out an hour a day, six days a week, yes. And I want to eat healthy food and drink fresh water, yes. And I want to produce electricity. Mm -hmm. Now, for all of you that were deceived in thinking this was the end of times, yes, mm -hmm. I, I don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. See, I think it would be so much easier, yes, to put this government in prison, mm -hmm. completely replace you with other citizens, Ouch. and then everybody could decide to go the way I want to go. And that way, I could be sure, yes, that we are not going to have the beginning of sorrows. Yes. Now, somebody had sown in this idea that it was the end of humanity. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought for sure we had the availability of uh, doubling the size of humanity. Yes. Reducing the actual national debts of every nation by 50%. Yes. By the time I, I die. Yeah. And uh, having a better quality of life for every citizen of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of the employees of these various retailers that are feeling the pinch of the online retailers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the possibility that where you used to work, I could purchase it at a very reasonable price. Mm -hmm. And then I could convert those locations to a nice place where... Elementary, junior high, maybe from the age of 11 or 12 to 18 years old, where they could go learn indoor sports. Right. <laughs> and then when you graduate from high school, mm -hmm, you'd have all this knowledge of the indoor sports. Yes. See, most high schools, they focus on outdoor sports. Yes. Football, basketball, baseball. Yes. They might have some volleyball teams, though I don't think they really have male volleyball teams. Usually it's, it's female volleyball teams. Yes. But the school districts are not able to provide locations where you as a student could learn indoor sports. Yeah. 
Now, wouldn't it be good to have hundreds of thousands, could be millions of square feet? Yes, where you could actually get involved in indoor sports because the school districts cannot afford the indoor sports. <laughs> now, I know you have gymnasiums. Okay, basketball is an indoor sport. Yes. But it seems that we have a focus on certain sports, not understanding the importance of the availability. <laughs> well, you might not think badminton is a, a really important sport, but for those that play it, it's important. Yes, it is. You might not think fencing is important for those that uh, that do fence. It is important to them. Yeah. And I'm sure there's quite a few other indoor sports that could be available to the students of public schools. <laughs> It's kind of like a boys and girls club, but it's not. <laughs> it's specifically designed for students that want to play sports that happen to be indoor sports. Yes. Now, um, taking heed of yourselves. Right. Uh, they shall deliver me up to the council. Oh. Uh, the synagogue shall, uh, I, I shall be beaten. Yes. You're going to involuntarily admit me to a mental institution because of the defrauding of the United States of America. <laughs> There's no possible way that I could have you tried in war crime tribunals. Yes, for defrauding the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I really don't think it's the end of times. It hasn't started yet. Yes. Now, in verse 10, and the gospel must first be published among all nations. <laughs> But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Yes. Neither do ye premeditate, mm -hmm. but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, <laughs> that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. <laughs> now, for all the times that I've been to court for the false accusation of violating the fraudulent protection order, <laughs> at my own peril, I told Judge Porter, or was that what? <laughs> Well, I was not given any due process. Yes, there was no personal service or service by publication because I don't have an address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was Judge Landis. Yes. Do you remember when I told you? Well, if you read the protection order, the petitioner didn't sign it. <laughs> now, it is a requirement of law to be able to issue a permanent protection order. Yeah. That the petitioner does have to appear in court. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is not at the discretion. Mm -hmm. In fact, I began to do some research last night on what is known as capricious, arbitrary, and the discretion of the court. Yes. It does seem very capricious and arbitrary of the court. Yes. To refuse, Brent, right now. Now, I'm wanting to put in prison uh, a large number of state and federal employees. Yes. And when I think about the capricious and arbitrary use of the judicial system of the United States, it does look like a war crime, Brent, uh, to issue court orders where there's a forgery of the ex-official yeah. to use look-alike uh, employees of the court, yes, and then um, to decide that you're just not going to enforce the requirements of the law. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm, I'm really going to want my sons today, and I want to talk to Marilyn about some giving that I'd like her to do. I thought I would suggest to her how I like to receive. <laughs> There's a certain way a woman could give to a man that he cheerfully receives what is offered. <laughs>